Welcome back. Let's take a look at our quiz questions, which arose from some positions in our last games. Um, so we have one new unanswered quiz. Let's see what it is. That's an accidental rhyme. We don't rhyme all the time. Just when we're waiting for things to load. Alright, so here's a position from one of my recent games. And either I played pawn 1-6, or I played a pawn drop at 3-5. And whichever it was that I played, I should play the other one. So the question becomes, what's the more accurate move here? During the game, I was trying to figure out if I drop a pawn on 3-5, what if they push pawn 4-5? And then suddenly my silver is in tension, as their gold is in tension. Yes, my king is ever so slightly safer and can run away sooner, but... Oh boy, it's a bit uncomfortable with my rook not protected, and a lot... Well, my gold and my rook and knight and lance all floating about, while the opponent's starting to get close to promotion, and also threatening to promote the bishop. But I think if we look concretely at the variations. Oh, sorry, for the video I meant to put up some interesting proverb. If we look at concrete variations, we'll find that this move is perfectly fine. Um, to the best of my recollection, an engine validates that the best the opponent can do, rather than advancing this pawn, is to push the gold there. With a similar effect, uh, oh, welcome everyone! You joined us just in time for us uh, first uh, reviewing a problem from our last game. And second, uh, we're going to play a few games here on this here website, uh, Shogi Wars. So hopefully you know the rules of Shogi. If not, this is going to be interesting, but it's kind of like chess. Uh, also, you'd see a Twitch category, you know, if Twitch would ever answer that petition. Um, but anyway... You'd see some description explaining the game there, but there is a video explaining some of the basics if you really want to catch up on that sometime. Um, but yeah, it's a lot like chess. Here we got our king and gold general. We got a rook, we got a whole bunch of pawns, we got a king and a bishop, and stuff moves similarly, and we'll get to that in a second. So the fun thing is when you trade pieces, uh, they go into the player's hands. Um... So, yeah, this one line here, this is what I played in the game. The opponent ran away, and I kept chasing, and they ran away successfully, and it was a hard game. But, yeah, let's take a look at it together, shall we? Uh, let's demonstrate by playing a 10-minute game. We get to play three 10-minute games each day on this website. So, as soon as the app loads, we'll get to play some 10-minute games. So, normal means we get to play against the pool of players. Mostly located in Japan, I assume. And, yeah, let's take it away, shall we? Um, for visual interest on the right side of the screen, you'll see the globe, which indicates what time it is in each place in the world. Thanks to Randall Monroe for making this uh, globe-slash-map-image clock thing. Um, and it took forever for me to get that operating under Windows, but it works beautifully now. Wow, took you like 300 moves. Well, hopefully this isn't going to take 300. Good luck. So hopefully this isn't going to take 300 moves to complete, because we only have 10 minutes to make all of our moves. There's no increment, no delay, nothing like that. Just straight 10 minutes. So often these games tend to end in a bit of a time scramble. Um, I seem to remember this being okay. Um... So they're putting pressure over here, we're putting pressure over there. Um, fudge, I don't remember the next move in this situation. I'm going to protect a lot of pawns. Okay, can I push this and get away with that? Maybe. There's some issues there. Um, hmm... All right, so we're going to offer a bishop exchange, and our opponent probably takes it. And this will make the game more complicated. Um, 
Yeah, it helps to be familiar with the pieces. Many of these move like chess pieces. There are a couple new pieces too. So um, I take a minute to explain, but I have like no time on the opponent's turn. Uh, so this rook moves the same way, the bishop moves the same way. Um, generally you don't want to put your king next to this rook like I've done, so I've spent too much time talking and not enough thinking. And I'm going to be in huge trouble soon for it. Um, so, let's see. Hang on, before I do something crazy, let's first try to connect this. Okay, uh, this line is open, but I don't see a way to profit from that. It would be nice if there were a way to profit, but let's get the silver up and moving about. Um, and so, yeah, they're going to attack directly at my king, and I'm not completely prepared for it. Oh, hey, we got some sort of glyph thing, which means we did something right. What I did right, I'm not sure, but um, that's pretty cool. I'll take it. But I'll be damned if I can figure out what to do next here. Uh, I don't want to expose my rook, but I kind of have to aim at the head of the silver, but I don't have a good way to continue an attack against it, because they can drop a bishop here at any time. So it's a bit difficult. Well, well, maybe. No, generally I don't want to move this rook, but maybe it's okay to... No, no moving it just creates problems. Don't move it. Find something else here. There's going to be another way. All right, how about this? Uh, yeah, good job me. I did a thing right. Didn't do everything right, I did one thing right. So let's celebrate. Um, this is, I don't know. I'm supposed to do something here. Um... I think this is playable. I've seen other players do a similar move. Um, Nanafu. Mm hmm. Hmm. What a tense situation. So I've exposed my knight here, which means it's going to be difficult. Um, I'm not sure what to do at all. Alright, I'm going to try to attack... Oh, crap. I just trapped my knight. I was so excited about the possibility of attacking them that I forgot I have my own weaknesses to tend to as well. But maybe it's for the best. I had to do something to attack, and this is something. Um, it's just a bit more than I bargained for. Uh, I could take that. That creates more weaknesses. Um, so yeah, they take the knight. I recapture. I have an attack against their gold general here. But I still have nowhere to drop a bishop, even with their castle wide open like that. Um, that's interesting. Oh, that's a fork. There's a saying in Shogi, don't run from a fork. Um, generally, it's a complete waste of time to run.
But what do we do? Okay, we can protect both pieces this way. And that way our opponent does get a rook, but we at least get something for it. Um, so I've activated my rook by exchanging it into their hand. That's another fork. Um, so I'm going to step Go away from that. And try to find some kind of attack, even though this is pretty desperate. Um, they're playing well. So... The heck do I do now? How do I get any pressure against their position? Uh, well, if I hit the rook, or if it takes here an error, I have tactics, but they're not going to make mistakes. Um, hmm. No, that's dangerous. Dropping it up here, this gold retreats, I drop a silver. Uh, their rook slides away, and my bishop's trapped. So... This is a mess. Uh, this looks like my only path forward. How often do you see a back rank drop? It really depends on the position. Pieces will drop all over the board. And that's what makes this game complicated. So... It's difficult to predict what's going to happen next. Um... Hmm. It is so fiendishly difficult to predict. Um, yeah, Bug House is pretty challenging, too. Man, what if what an incredible mess. They seem to have everything covered. I'm looking at tactic after tactic after tactic. None of the tactics work out in my favor. It's as if maybe Easy. our opponent had seen this or something similar before. Um, but I don't know how. Um, not sure how that's possible. Alright, so that's me continuing to attack this rook. Um, I hear you, it's just not easy for me to find a move. Um, So I promote, they make this predictable capture, I recapture, 
I saved my silver in case I need it. Some often the quantity of pieces matters almost as much as the quality of the pieces. So I need to be careful not to exchange too many things. Piece quality can matter frequently, but quantity uh, perhaps even more frequently matters. Uh, so this rook is surrounded. They force my king to capture here. Oh, they do have a lance. This could be scary. Well, no, I could take the lance whichever way it drops. Uh, see how they run. Um, I could capture it. It's hard to find good moves. Okay, I could really use a rook, so we're going to take that. And I'm just going to lash out at this point. I need more pieces. I need their king to be exposed. So that's the way we're going. Oh, right. I forgot. I just placed this pawn. I can't place another pawn behind my first pawn. Uh, so I have to defend this way. All right. We keep exchanging and exchanging and exchanging. They draw my king all the way out. They have a knight to drive it back. Damn it, I don't get to escape my king. But also, I'm probably mated in short order here. This is well played on their part, not so much on my part. Um, yeah, so they chase my king all the way into this mate, and gold drop his mate in one. But, oh, okay, we can't take that. Let's run away. Uh, they still have mate in one. Oh, they don't have a gold general for it. Um, so we try to build up a castle. It's too late. But one can dream. Um... Yeah, I'm in deep doo doo here. All right, thanks for the game. So that's one down and two to go. Good luck. All right, this time they go first. All right, take care. Have a good night. Let's, for inspiration, draw up another proverb and see what we got. If there are loose pieces, you won't be stuck looking for a move. Imagine that. So, let's close this diagonal for once, because clearly I don't know how to play these positions where the bishops do get exchanged. Um, okay, our opponent is attempting one of many different castles. I'm not sure which. So let's keep this flexible and see what they do. They'll probably move the silver up, which denies my rook easy entrance. Um, on the other hand, it commits them to some category of castles that take some time to build. Um, so I'm going to build a quick castle here. Um, although my bishop's in 
the odd spot for it, isn't it? All right, so let's aim directly at the head of the Silver General. Seems like a nice target. If my Rook moves over, then they're going to move up the Silver. Um, hmm. So I'm going to defend this point now they seem them aiming for it. Um, generally, I'm supposed to push back against that. So, yep, we are building a castle, which is not really matched to our opponent's strategy. So I've walked directly into the line of the opponent's bishop. This is a huge no-no, but I don't see a way to avoid it. Um, so we're doing it. Okay, we have built left uh, Tower Mino. Yeah, they're attempting to push now on my bishop's head, and I don't have a good response to that. Um, hmm. If I start pushing here, I'm never going to get past the silver. But if I move the rook over, uh, then they move the silver up, and I can't push this either. So that's kind of a conundrum. So path three we take, which probably isn't right either. Um, so I'm going to try to push here instead. Well, this gives... I shouldn't have pushed this pawn. This cut down my options significantly. Um, so we're going to prevent the silver from advancing through the center. All right, our opponent puts more pawns in tension. Um, if I take and then if I drop here, I ew, that's that's no good. I thought it was good. Now I'm looking at it closer, and it's just not good. So what the hell? How do I get out of this? How do I get myself out of this hell that I've gotten myself into? I mean, if pawn takes, silver takes, pawn takes, knight takes, bishop runs. This is dubious, but maybe okay. All right, so we got a runner. Um. Hmm. All right. This is sketchy as heck, but um, if it works, it'll be great. I just question if I'll be able to get away with this. Welcome. Hey, we're getting ground down by a three down or three Q here. Um, fun times, eh? Uh, so yeah, our king's in peril, so we have to take that. And then I think I defend like this. Okay, and then my next Not thought was to attack. Oh, hang on. That's a fork. And the king's right there. All right. Um, I remember the other day being interested in what... Alexi was doing, and he keeps calling his live streams like Shiawazi or something like that. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, I liked the blue-eyed girl avatar the most, but uh, this one's pretty cute too. Um, so I looked up what that word meant. Apparently it means like fortune or good luck. And I think... Uh, the moral of the story is the person who practices the most is going to have the most luck. I think that's uh, the point of the exercise. Or at least there's a different proverb that uh, those who practice get lucky. Ah, it's a special Sumashogi study room on 81 Dojo. I see, so he didn't come up with a name. Um, 
even so, I think looking up the that word in Google, it's still the word translated as like fortune or good luck or something. And I could see how luck and practice could be related to each other. But I could just be making all this up and in reading far too much into something I found on Google. Uh, but no, that's good to know. Now I understand. So I have a rook. I got a rook. And I'm afraid to use it. <laughs> that's how it goes, right? Um... All right, so first, let's get this over here. See how they block it. Um, second, I don't have a pawn to drop there. Uh, so I was curious if I drop a bishop somewhere to continue this attack. Would that be reasonable? How would they block that? Um, oh, hang on. I should activate my other rook crazy as it appears. Um, yeah, let's put this on an open line. Probably should have done this one first. But I was so anxious about getting an attack here. Okay, really? I think... Therefore I am. Alright, let's take it. gonna move that here anyway. Yeah, they got one free tempo out of sacrificing a pawn. Uh, now I'm threatening to take a gold general for free. Uh, so let me try to pronounce that. S-H-I-A-W-A-S-E. Ugh, I, I'm afraid to try to pronounce that. Um, but okay, it's related to checkmate exercises. All right, uh, our opponent attacks our gold general. Uh, this has multiple ways to promote. Gofun. Hang on. So I am going to defend this gold general with gain of a move. Um, so this can promote over here in no man's land, and that's fine. Shiawaza. Okay, thank you. I apologize uh, to Alexi. has been very helpful, and I've been swamped with work, and I'm working to remedy that. Um, I do intend to look at some game records and better understand openings soon. Um but haven't done that yet. So today we're playing with a lot of spirit and not quite as much knowledge. Um, but this could still be fun. Okay, our opponent attacks both of our gold generals, but also the pins their silver general. So... Um, Hmm. How greedy am I? Okay, so I'm going to defend my king and uh, make use of this pin. If I were greedy, I might take the gold general here and pray that I have checkmate. But um, it's probably easier to play um, slightly lax moves here, as long as I don't get made it. I have both rooks. If I get both rooks and both bishops, and they can't stop my king from running up the board, then you know I can attack with a reckless abandon and not worry about my own king. Um, Right now they don't have any pawns to drop. They do have a gold general all the way over here, but anyway, I guess my fears of getting... I was considering bringing the gold over this way for I don't even know why, 
it controls more space in the center than it does around the king, but the squares around the king matter. So let's see what the opponent does. Uh, but yeah, I like this. Uh, I got this 81, or it's the Shogi Wars Avatar um, from playing in a tournament on this site. Or a win streak tournament. So I won some games in a row, and the site awarded me this Avatar. It's pretty cute. Um... That said, I still prefer the default, like, Blue Eyes Girl avatar, but um, thought I have to give this one a try. Alright, so we've got Double Dragon up there. Um, this is protected, as long as I don't hang it. Hmm. I'm not sure how exactly to dismantle this castle. I expect that a lance could help somehow. Um, Alright, my rook's on a perilous diagonal. Um, let's move my other rook off. So now I have both rooks. Well, this rook was hanging. This or dragon was hanging, this other dragon could potentially hang at some point in the future, but I'm attacking this knight. If the silver or I guess the silver moves back, because if the gold moves back, I just need to displace the silver to break in. Uh they could also drop a piece here. But uh yeah, actually both generals defend that. Uh, but what who defends the generals? Um, they have two pawns in here. Alright, we're going to drop all the way over here. So we're threatening to take the silver, gold takes... Oh. Okay. I said we were making a threat. Uh, my opponent moved quickly there. I could take here anyway. It looks crushing. Yeah, we're going to take all their generals. And win. That's the plan. Alright. Maybe I could have checked here. But uh, I got, I don't know, trigger happy. So all I need to do is surround this king now. Uh, it's going to try to escape. So I need to try to prevent that from happening. Um... Let's promote this. If the king tries to run, uh, we've, got, we've got that covered. Um, I've got more than enough force to get this job done. Um, Uh, I never have Bird of Water for Avatar. This is true. When are they going to make an Avatar on this uh, website that's like that? It's probably going to be a while, right? Um, Alright, so... Oh, Mate and One. Let's do that. That's for the game. I debated Silver, then Gold Drop, but then saw this as Mate and One. I looked at other moves first. But eventually found this, so it works. Two games down, one to go. Oh, thanks for game. Good luck. All right, so let's do it. Um, yeah. Well, what's this? Uh, the rook, uh, the kanji on the rook piece means flying, right? or to fly or something like that. 
Um, let's see, how do we play this? I think the rook can go all the way back here. Hmm, so they're aiming over here. But they also could aim it directly at the rook this way. Ah, uh, I've overcommitted. Crap. Um. Okay. How do I change course here? Wait, if I push this... Um, yeah, let's activate my bishop. This is going to be a freaking mess. Um, so... And my bishop's open, they can't use their bishop against my rook directly. Um, so therefore I should try to knock out the silver here. Um, Alright, they oppose this directly so that they can use their bishop. Wait, that's weird. I could take that. Okay. You've got my curiosity, sir. Down the rabbit hole we go. Alright, so I chased your bishop back. In exchange for creating terrible, horrible weaknesses. Um, all right, so hmm, what the heck do I do now? We try to pounce on this, um. Okay, so this blocks their silver, though. I think we've made this confusing enough. I could deform my castle to stop them from taking that. Deforming the castle doesn't seem like a good idea. But on the other hand, if they break in here, I'm up a creek. So, well, I'm sorry, if I try to defend this, they can, like, drop a pawn, the exchange, they drop another pawn, and I'm still up a creek. So, yeah, we've got a tough position here. Um, okay, I'm just going to go for it. And we're going to see exactly what a freaking mess this is.
Alright, so we got this tension still, for whatever reason. Um, so here we are accidentally playing right side king strategy for the first time ever, I guess. Something like that, maybe? Maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Bishop takes, we have fun. If gold takes, it's not so fun. Um, because I don't know what to do here. Here goes nothing. So now I've got a knight I can drop for tactics. Um, dropping it might not be a good Oof. idea. But I could drop it. Tactics could result. Let's first do this. This looks interesting. So now we have two pieces bearing on that. They reduce the pressure. Um, let's increase the pressure again. Admittedly, this looks like a bust. Uh, Okay. I could take that. <laughs> uh, how crazy am I feeling? T oh, okay, both they get both dragons on my back rank if I take that. I might not want to take that. Um, all right, let's run. Uh, my rook's hanging. How bad is that? Okay, yeah, I have to take this. Alright. It's perfectly normal. Nothing to worry about. Other than everything. Alright, let's take that. They have a gold general in hand. They have a gold at a knight. They're threatening to advance on my bishop. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what to do here. Something. That's not good. Um. Okay, 
Okay, let's try to reform this shape. It's my strongest shape ever. So, if that stays intact, we're fine. If the shape breaks, I'm screwed. Ah, that's another breaking point. Um, all right, so you can attack me and I can attack you. That seems fair. Um, Nifun. All right, we've got a nut, a gold general immediately in front of our king opponent's king. That can't be a terrible thing, at least for me. Uh, whoa. Interesting. I suppose we'll take it, right? Um. They say an early escape is worth eight moves. Let's see if that's true. Um, if I take that... Hmm, if I don't take that... No, if I take that, I'm screwed. Um, we're going to run, and hopefully I've not missed anything. But running down the board tends to be extremely dangerous. Oh, especially because our opponent can promote right in front of the king. Um, so, it's kind of an unholy mess. Um, sure, why not? How unsafe could this be? They got six minutes to find good moves here. I don't. Fuck, I had a pawn drop right there. Pawn drop there is what I should have played. Night drop is what I should have played. I survive this time. Nijubi. <sighs> Well, this is content. Um.
X for the game. That was tense, eh? Alright. So, that's why we start the game with a warm-up, or start the day with a warm-up puzzle there. Sorry that the page broke again, but... Uh, yeah, three games, two wins and a loss. It's not a terrible outcome at the end of the day, but I could do better. Yeah, so it's important, and you learn this from playing tournament games, whether it's chess, Go, Scrabble, whatever, that you've got to use your time. If you don't use it, you lose it. So uh, having time left over at the end of the game doesn't help out. You have to pace yourself throughout the game. I say this as, like, I have basically not much time left at the very end of the game, but I'm trying to play good decisions throughout, trying to get positions that maybe I can hold if I'm lucky. So I hope we enjoyed that series. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.